All right, guys, we're back on the houseboat restoration today. We're finally gonna get that extra piece of boat and hopefully get it rolled into position here. And just that is probably gonna take us all weekend. So let's get going. All right, if you're new to the channel, this is my old houseboat. I've had it for over 10 years. I brought it to my house so we could restore it. And me and my friends decided to chop it in half. We got a piece of another houseboat. We're gonna stick it in the middle and make this boat longer. It's a terrible idea. I don't recommend anyone do it, but we're past the point of no return now. All right, so what we've got to do, hook the truck up to this trailer and get that piece of boat in the driveway. We'll get the hoist above it, see if we can lift it off the trailer, and then get that boat piece on the Boat Runner 5000 and see if we can roll it into place. All right, we're going to use some provisions off the boat here instead of a tow strap. Let's steal some old uh, anchor rope off this old thing. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Let's see. It smells like death in here though. This might work. Yeah, that should work. What we're trying to do is spin this piece on the trailer so it's facing the right way. So I'm gonna try to tug this thing on the trailer with the uh, Polaris, see if that works. Floor jack time. Let's see. I think if I get some wood under there, that might work. Looking too bad, right? Let's see. Oh man, this thing is floppy. Just shows you how flimsy fiberglass is. Okay, so now we've got it facing the right way on the trailer. I'm gonna get it over in the driveway, try and hoist it in the air. I'm gonna get the scales out. We're gonna try and weigh this piece of the boat. And that way can kind of estimate the weight of the entire boat, which will help us know where the water line is gonna be, things like that. Not too bad, right? Let's see. So I've got one electric hoist, one chain hoist, and this one 
It's rated for 1,100 pounds. I have no idea how much that piece of boat weighs. Can kind of guess, but who knows? So what we're gonna do when we lift this thing up is uh, not stand under it. Okay. I think I've got this thing rigged up good enough to get it off the trailer, I hope. So I've got electric hoist over here. I've got a Alpine butterfly knot. That's my favorite new boat knot. Old bowline, couple half hitches, some old anchor rope, it's pretty strong. And then on the other side, I've got the same thing, but I've got a manual chain hoist. So place your bets now on what this section of hull weighs. I'm gonna say, a thousand pounds. It's about seven feet long, and I think it's a little over a hundred pounds per foot, maybe? I'm just totally making that up. But I think knowing the weight of this section will help us to balance the boat out better. So when we put, you know, new water tanks, a uh, big battery bank system in here, we can kind of shift the weight where we need it because it's always been heavy in the stern. Uh, when the fuel tanks were full, sometimes the water line would be above the anti-fouling paint. So it's always needed more lift in the back. So knowing what this section of hull weighs, I think will help us out. Going up. Ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try and weigh this thing. Got the scales here. Zero it out, see what we get. It's got about 50 pounds of wood on it. All right, everything is zero. Now we're gonna let her down, see what we get. Holy crap. Okay, this side's down. All right, there we go. 1,395 pounds, so call it 1,400. That's heavier than I thought. All right guys, so we got this thing weighed and we've got JT coming over, hopefully to help me get this on the cradle and get this thing rolled into position here. I'm not gonna try doing it myself because these casters have no brakes on them and this thing actually rolls pretty good. You can move it, it's almost 600 pounds I think. You can pretty much move it with a couple fingers. These are good casters. So if I put this 1400 pound piece of boat onto this and try to move it by myself. I think it's gonna take off into the yard. So wait for JT to get here. That should help. All right, what's up, man? What's going on? We got on? JT here. Help try and lift this thing up. Looks like it's about to rain too. So we'll see if we can beat it. Cause if it rains in our uh, electric hoist, you might get zapped, man. Nah. You don't think so? Nah. Cause the GFCI doesn't work here that I'm about to plug it into. So just so you know, it does not work. I ain't worried. 110 don't hurt that much. 110 doesn't hurt that much? No. You, yeah, what about in the rain though? 
Don't make it hurt anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's try. It's up to you, though. So I go and you're just gonna match me or what? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so many noises. I know. It does make a lot of noises. Don't get your feet under it or anything. No, no. Just tell me when. Well, yeah, I, don't, I got just a little more, not much. That's it. Woo. Don't get your damn hands there, because this thing oh, will no. fall whenever it feels like fall. Right, front needs to rotate. Except for maybe a half inch closer on your side. See. We'll see when it settles, but. Ooh. She's doing it. <laughs> you ready to try and move this? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, will it even move? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are good casters, man. Yeah, they are. Harbor Freight. Hell yeah. All right, so I'm gonna try to push more. Oh, there we go. Okay. How you doing? Good. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Just rolled a little bit on me because I was trying to. Okay. The rope. All right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh yeah. I'm basically oh. holding my side for now. Okay. Now I'm gonna push. Oh. Oh. Crash. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay. Oh, push, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. All right. Oh, oh. Ready to go sideways? Yeah. Okay. Doing okay. pretty good. What, right. six more inches? Right about there. Right there. All right, so I'm gonna get the rope out, lift this thing up, see if it's anywhere close to matching up. I like your uh, steel toe shoes, man. Yeah, you like that? It's the worst shoes to wear for this. guys now that we got this thing together let's go on a little tour here all right let's go see what we're gonna get for extra space oh oh yeah we got a bulkhead in the way oh yeah oh dude this thing's huge <laughs> yeah man this thing's gonna be awesome oh. this thing's gonna be huge and these these are the worst string yeah look at this Oh, yeah. yeah. So you're going to do the plywood stacked and glued stringers? Yeah, we'll do plywood stacked and glued. It's a really big boat. Come up, come up and look inside now. It's gigantic now. Death boating show. Oh, on Amazon, I bought some series like Marine Disasters, <laughs> and it's all just about <laughs> ships that broke in half. So this is terrifying. What was the last one that was like? What? They didn't buy a, or didn't pay for a, what is what? it called? Architect, boat architect or something? Oh, a naval architect? Naval architect. So I was like, are you going to get a naval architect? Yes, we'll get a naval architect. Uh, His name is uh, Dr. Kyle. Anything stronger than this. Oh, yeah. I mean, overall, though, I'm pretty happy with how this thing's fitting together. You know, it, these boats were a year different. So this piece is a 1977. The original houseboat's a 1976, but they came out of the same mold, built by the same people. So. They're pretty close. You know, fiberglass does move, so we're gonna have to stretch some things out, pull some things in to get it to match up. But overall, this is not too bad, especially the bottom part. The bar is gonna come out this way now. Your L bar. Yeah, we can do our L bar in there. Yeah. It's what, scary? <laughs> Just a little, yeah. You don't ever wanna ride in it? I don't know. Well, I'm sure the maiden voyage will be on the, on the, the sky bridge. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> With life vests. Just in case. Seconds. They just sink in seconds. Yep. I can swim. Okay, so here's what's next. Gotta get that bulkhead out. Start ripping all this bad wood out, the bad stringers, grinding the fiberglass so we can fiberglass this extra piece in. That's gonna take probably all winter. That's a lot of work. So we're gonna do some combo effort work. I'm gonna get up here in the bridge, start gutting the bridge out. We can start working on Maybe some ideas for the wiring, how we want to lay things out. You know, there's still the little extra bedroom down here in the very bottom of the boat. So I need to get down in there, clean that out. I'll show you guys that next time. All right, guys, what do you think? Looks kind of ridiculous, especially with this piece of a brown boat right in the middle, but I don't know, it looks all right, I think. All right, guys, I'll film more as we keep working on this thing. So appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.